hello everyone welcome back here in this new video tutorial today i am going to show you how we can import data from website to microsoft excel and edit the data by using power query editor here in the internet browser i have opened the website of national bank of nepal that is nepal rashtra bank and here i have the information of foreign currency exchange rate i want to import this data in microsoft excel for that let's go to excel sheet then click on data tab here you have option from web click on this option here in this url box you have to copy and paste the website url let me go here in the website then click on the address bar copy this address go to your excel sheet and paste the address here then click on ok depending upon the internet speed and the size of the data it takes some time to load the data here you see the available data tables in the web page is given here by clicking on this you can view what data is available let me click on this another data table where i have the information of currency name unit buying price and selling price to load this data to excel you have to click on the load button but if you want to edit this data you have to go to this transform data option click on this transform data which will open power query editor here you can see processing queries it takes few time to open the data in power query editor here you see the data is loaded in power query editor now you can edit or manipulate the data for example here in the first column there is the short name of the currency is given like usd for us dollar if you want to separate this short name of the currency or the currency code in a different column then you can use the split column tool which is available here in the home tab of power query here you see the split column click on this here you can choose on the basis of what you want to split the column here let's take this by delimiter option here click on this drop down and select space because there is a space between the full name and short name so take the space here and here we have to take leftmost delimiter because it contains multiple space we have to take the leftmost so choose this leftmost delimiter then click on ok now here you see the currency code is splitted in a different column and every step you do here will be recorded here here you can see the step is given split column by delimiter if you want to go back you can simply remove this step just click on this and click on this now it goes back to the previous stage let me split this again if you notice here the short name of the currency are given in the small letter if you want to convert this into capitalized letter then here you can use another tool for that click on the transform tool so click on this format option then here you have a upper case option simply click on this and here you see all the small letters are converted into capital similarly if you want to remove these opening and closing bracket from this name of the currency you can click on this column then click on home tab select this replace value tool then here in the value to find put this opening bracket in replace with don't put anything then click on ok and here you see the opening bracket is removed from the currency name similarly to remove the closing bracket go to the replace value tool here type the closing bracket then click on ok and the closing bracket is removed from the currency name similarly if you want to add here a new column to show the difference between buying price and selling price then here you can add a new column for that click on this add column tab click on this custom column tool then here you have to use the formula for calculating the difference the formula for calculating the difference is the selling price minus buying price so double click on this sale column put the minus symbol 
then double click on the by column now this formula will create a new calculated column click on ok and here you see a new column is calculated with the difference between selling rate and buying rate if you want to rename the column you can simply right click in the column then click on the rename give a new name here let's say difference here you can put the name age currency code let's rename this column age currency name now after making the necessary change in your data using power query editor you can click on the home tab then click on this close and load option then it will be loaded into microsoft excel by using this power query editor you can manipulate clean or rearrange the data because if you connect your data to different source then the data may not be appropriate for analysis so the main purpose of power query editor is to transform the data clean the data rearrange the data so that it will be easier for you to analyze let's click on close and load option then it will transfer here in microsoft excel here you see the data is loaded in excel now you can do further analysis by using the formula and functions of microsoft excel and one of the best part here is if the data is updated in the website if this data gets updated it will also update here in microsoft excel but for that you have to go to this query tab then click on this refresh data option here you have refresh option by clicking on the refresh you can get the latest or updated data from the web so this is how we can import the data from website to microsoft excel and edit the data by using the powerful excel tool that is power query editor and this much for today's video thank you very much for watching we will again meet on next video tutorial